Hey, my smart fool here, and welcome back to the Wolf no one's Among been Us. Over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Uh, that's creepy. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Dick's Mountain. That your mom? Uh huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Honky tonk? I don't know. I don't have taste in music. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy? What language is this? What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. My dear. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. Okay. That's a weird question. Closet door. <laughs> the butcher. The butcher. What's that? And who the hell is the butcher? Having to do with someone called the butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. What was in the butcher's thing? I forgot. Oh yeah, it looks like Crane was here either. Bob. Nothing. See. Hey, don't be sassy now, kid. <laughs> Nothing. God damn it! I shouldn't say that. Nothing. It's not really a curse word. Listen, that aftershave of his. I do too. Hey, I'm a wolf here. You're not. Can I go to bed now, please? Mm, I can smell Crane here, kid. Where is he? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Well, I've done stuff like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you! I ain't no way, guy! I don't wanna get in trouble! You know, there was a guy here. We didn't say it was a guy here. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. Oh, ho, 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 it's bedtime, huh? Oh. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? It is my business. How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you. Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not... That were you? I don't know. Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. I'd be very, very careful if I were you. You're not as cute as that little girl. You have a lot <laughs> to learn on how to treat a lady. Greenleaf? When I was starving and homeless and out on the streets, nobody gave three sticks of thought about me. And now I'm supposed I to don't care know about what you, you want. If I, I don't know who you are. I'd be strung up on the Statue of Liberty before the morning commute. No thanks. 
There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Uh, okay, not really? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables no, really? are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman. Technically, not criminal. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me. No one would confuse you for a cat. I don't play animal. well with others. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. Okay. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. I don't know that ring. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Okay, um, ooh. okay, uh, burn the tree or not? I mean, technic, okay, I mean, she did help Crane do illegal stuff, per se, glamour, as someone else, but she's not taking in, she, well, she says she's helping others, glamour, because the professionals or the ones that are hired by them cost way too much money and of course the department doesn't give a crap about them until now that they're seeing that the things are going bad for them so technically she's not bad she's just doing what she can to survive This is hard, actually. Uh, other help or not? Other help or not? Other help or not? I mean, technically, she's not doing bad stuff. Technically, in the theory, she's not getting by Michelle. Okay, I think I know. I think I know my decision. Resume, please. Don't. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? 
Something like that. We'll call you. Is that deer here supposed to be the mom or dad, whatever she said? The deer, the jackal? I don't know, who the fuck is Auntie Greenleaf? I never heard of her story, or the butcher. Or flycatcher. Who the hell are these? Or apparently George's name is Georgie's Port Porgy. Who the hell is Georgie Porgy? That's it doesn't have to do something with put in by Ooh, hey Crane. What the hell was that? No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> hey, you can't just go in there. Why not? We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm sorry! I... Crane, get away from her! I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up! I d just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all! I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. It's just... Just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to... You... You're not Green Lantern. Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. <laughs> oh, come on now. What, are you seriously crying? How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> it ain't love, okay? buddy. That's a I'm sorry I didn't cheat. cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? Mm. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not, he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means oh, so shut much up. to- Shut up. Don't talk to me. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at no, all? Oh, I don't if think so either. seen the room- I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. Oh, so sorry. No, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, abusing our money for his own ambitions. That's <coughs> one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? <laughs> I don't think no one understands what I said there. We've known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. 
Now I know, and I'm sorry, but... We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. Who the fuck is I Vivian?! I didn't for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. Good boy. The one I won't We're not for. gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes yeah, it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. Ooh. Got crane, so yay! I don't like this. Oh, okay. Okay, I do like this now. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? <laughs> if not, then. Oh, never mind. I don't like this. Stand off or something. Wait, George, you said I've got a problem. Oh, he called. You know, that's what he calls double D's. That's D, and Dumb will be in around the corner. Oh, wait, that's the most card, right? Okay, three cars. Okay, there's. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so there's Steve. Hi. Hi. What you got there? Who are you? You know those two? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're. How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I never heard. I, I never read the cooking book. Not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Guys. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How does this how work? How this yeah. works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. I'm not a doggy. It wasn't my fault. Shut Ooh. up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? I know the Bloody Mary story. Uh, think it's funny to have when are you a fable? ...and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. This was really the wrong day to try and boy. Shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Bloody Mary, huh? 
Fuck it. Uh. Oh no no! <laughs> Big B's angrier now. Oh yeah. One second, that camera is gonna die in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> Big B's getting angry. Big B is take all oh, by my arm. Oh, <laughs> my arm's getting great right there. I don't, I don't. Nice. Can I transform me into the big beast now? My beast is big, bad wolf. Ow. So many ow. Ooh. <laughs> What's wrong with that shotgun? Twiddle D on me. God damn, I'm sleep deprived. I missed. You're not gonna hit me. Fuck you. You. One Tweedle less to worry about. Ah, that's a good one for you. Don't look at me like that, Snow. Oh, that's not good. Oh. That's not good either. Oh, God. It was a good show, but, you know, I just didn't know when to end. That's not good. Why you have wood attacks? You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. So silver affects me. Right, Wolfie? Don't get out, Wolf. <laughs> hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Uh, bloody, uh, no, bloody! Wait, stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. <gasps> don't do this. I don't use a different voice. I'm guessing that's the crooked man and your hand just went through kid. there. Crooked man says it's okay with him. So if the crooked man is the bigger guy. Then. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach in?
Just because he, oh, he owns just money? Just because he has girls? Crane ain't no killer. Yeah, he ain't not. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope. Not like your boyfriend here. Not his... Another boyfriend. <laughs> Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Yes, I know you're English. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. But oh my god! She really fucked me up. And the Tweedos. But mostly her. With that one bullet and broken arm. So silver affects me badly. That's not good. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. Well, I'm sorry, it's not my fault I got it's shot at. worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. Yeah, well, when I people got hear up. what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out. I was on defending me, Jack. myself. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't Maybe. make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Looks like Bloody Mary's gonna be my nemesis. Okay, uh, did you, uh, no, why would I interrupt? That's extreme, extremely rude. No. No, I could wait, I could wait. Okay, yeah, because. No one ick about Crane. Oh. No, apparently, a lot of people went to. Yeah, okay. No one ick about Crane when he did the first two things. Did he hit, uh, hit his. Uh, tracking, you know, he broke the mirror, he took a page, he took stuff, and I, yeah, okay, he probably took some stuff in the apartment too, I don't know, I never went there, but most likely he did. So to find a witch, you know, since Lily glamour herself up and they keep themselves, most likely a book of their appointments and all that. I'm guessing for Georgie to know where they go and where they go and all that, she, they probably have it. You, uh, sure, why not? I mean, he's not a bad kid at all. I can tell from the way he speaks and everything. The way I don't want to deal, I don't want. I don't want to work, but I don't want to work for bad guys. He's not bad. He apparently he worked for us until Crane fired him for some reason. Do you bound the tree? Uh, I mean, no, because uh, again, what I was saying or what I was mumbling that. Even though she did wrong stuff, technically everyone in this uh, in this series has done something wrong, borderline somewhat illegal, but they're not doing it to hurt someone or to murder someone. And they're just doing they just doing just to get by, so they're not enjoying each other's pain. They just have to survive, and so she. Basically, it's another victim of the poor construction, not uh, the poor whatever decisions that Ichabod made, or the neglect of. Well, basically, Snow never paid attention to them until now, and Big B is basically the one who takes the fall because he's the one that's looking for them while Snow and everyone else just like. Doing stupid stuff, you know. Did you go? Oh, so yeah, it's all defense. Well, a lot of people did it, huh? but it was it's all defense. 
And now, the best part comes. There we are. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I've been filming oh, for a while. I don't know what video I'm going to be posting first, but yeah. I'm beginning to be tired. Man. It's 9.30 30 in the morning. I have not slept. I know I'm going to sleep right after this. I'm to turn the cameras off. Turn the lights off, put my white noise on, and just... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you enjoyed The Wolf Among Us. I know I am. It's really one of my favorite, favorite uh, story games I played. I, well, maybe because I played a world of the Big Bad Wolf. Come on. It's a very idea. It's a very interesting concept. I am very much looking forward for the sequel. Supposedly it comes out next year. Supposedly, but you never you don't know if uh to say in the world so you know. But yeah. Anywho, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy all the other videos I made and the past my future ones. Yeah. This is Mark Poole. Signing out. <laughs>